Hey, what's happening here? Welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. This time we're going to do the uh, flammed mill. If what yep, that, I don't know what to say about that because I've never played it as a rudiment. I fiddled around with it a little bit uh, today, I guess, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. And it's basically kind of like a flam tap with two extra single strokes or a, um, what do you call that thing? A Swiss Army triplet, triplet with a different stroke to throw it off on the other end. But, you know, however you want to look at it. I'm going to play it. Then uh, Cletus is going to, he wants something to say. I don't know what, but he'll say it then. And then I'll give you a few tips on it from what I've gathered. Okay? Cool! Let's see. I don't even remember how I played it. Hey, Cletus, come here. Come on, man. Come tell him what you think or whatever about this. Oh. Here's Cletus, everybody. Remember him? Man, I'm sexy. What are you doing? Oh, man. What's wrong, Cletus? I ain't got no teeth. I can't smile. Hey, man, it's cool. You know, don't don't worry, dude. What? Get your hands off me. Sorry, man. Well, what you think about this? What was that called? A flammed mill. Is that like a pepper mill? No, a pepper mill is like a. Like a thing that holds pepper kernel corn. I know what a pepper mill is. Oh. So was it like a paper mill? No, a paper mill is, is where they make paper and food. What? I know. Oh. Was it like a sawmill? No. Well, what? What's a sawmill? A sawmill is where they take like lumber and stuff, and then they cut it up like like trees, and then they cut them up to make boards, that sort of thing. Oh. So, was it like a puppy mill? Absolutely not. I detest those. So, what is a flam mill? Well, it's you know the 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 rudiment I that I just played or whatever. Yeah, but why is it called a mill? You stump me, man. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess I got to look it up or whatever. Yep. What? Fool, you need to know what you preaching about. Oh, uh, yeah. You're right. I do. I appreciate it. It's what I'm here for. Man, I'm sexy. Peace. Hey man, why don't you get yourself some tea while you're at it? Camel. Alright. On this flam mill thing, a few things you can do to practice it would be, of course, to practice your flam tap. You know. Because that is the first part of it. As you get into music and such, you will find out that when you have a diddle on a flam, it's the same thing. 
Another uh, thing you can practice also for this, they kind of all interchange, is the uh, Swiss Army Triplet. Hey, you ought to check out my Swiss Army Triplet video. That was funny. <laughs> I messed that one up. Be sure when, when you're playing this one, you think of, of accenting both the flam and the next note. I, I, I'm not saying to play them that way. I'm saying think of it that way. Because the first note, when the ear hears it, the next note is automatically going to be diminished it at faster speeds, in other words. Okay? I would practice it, of course, extremely slow. In fact, I wouldn't practice it this way. You see how I am accenting the flam, but I'm keeping the other one sort of like a tap? I would practice it slow more like this. For reasons that you really don't need to go into, I really don't need to go into right now because it's it's a, a 101 video. Just trust me, practice them that way, and then later on we can talk about finesse and what's going to happen and all that other stuff. If you practice them slow this way, then once you get fast, you know, and, and you're actually bouncing them. Of course, you're doing a rebound stroke here. You know, it's like bounce, bounce, what is it? What? Right, rebound control, stroke, something like that. I don't even want to get into that stuff. But practice it that way slow, and um, quicker than, than you know, you'll be able to play them with, um, with more, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, clarity. Make sure you keep the diddles the same spacing as the strokes, that 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 that, no matter you know whether it's both on the right or, or the or the ones on the left or right left right left, everything's supposed to be the same. That's the most important thing. That 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 that. All right. Um, this is one of those rudiments that I consider really like one of the true hybrids, because it's basically a flam tap with two single strokes after it, or a Swiss Army triplet with a single after it, however you want to look at it. Uh, so, you know, hey, have fun with it, see what happens, um, and uh, I hope this helped a little bit, all right? Thanks a lot, and remember, it's just drums, guys.